Do you know one of the best and most freeing things that you can do to create success on your terms is to really listen to your body and do what you need, not what everybody else is telling you. So I started to feel that my energy was getting a little bit fragmented just a moment ago and I was like, oh, what do I need to do to get myself back into that space? And so I brought myself out here. I'm laying on the floor under the blue skies and the green trees and I've got my feet uh, naked on the floor, just grounding and letting myself just relax and connect in with that amazing energy. And that's what we're going to talk about today on this High Performance Mastery Series. We're going to do the second part of the energy and three things that you can do on a daily basis to make sure that you can generate the energy to create greater success in less time and with more joy doing things like this. So if you're ready, let's dive in. Okay, so I'm going to confess, I did have a meditation stroke nana nap before I recorded the second part of this video and I feel amazing can you tell the difference and that brings me to point number one when you want to generate the energy so that you can make great progress in a shorter period of time with greater motivation and vibrancy and aliveness the first thing that you have to do is you have to schedule in your time first you don't get to put yourself last on the list. You don't get to say, if I have time, I work out, or I'll go and take a walk, or I'll do my yoga, or I'll take my Epsom salt bath, or anything else that you do. You don't get a chance to do that. You schedule all of those things in first. So anything that regenerates you, that energizes you, that feeds you physically, mentally, emotionally, spiritually, that goes into your schedule first. So step number two is all about movement. Now I'm not talking about exercise, I'm talking about changing your physical state. Because when we get stuck in that tunnel of doing work, 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 and like sitting at a desk all day, churning stuff out, using our emotional batteries all of the time, we can start to feel very stagnant and our energy kind of gets stuck. So in that respect, I want you to commit to moving a minimum of every 50 minutes. So every 50 minutes, an alarm goes off on your phone and you get up and you move away from your desk. You move your physical space, get out of your office, get out of your chair, give yourself a shake off, do some jumping and jumping jacks on the spot, do some yoga, get outside, get some water, whatever it is, but just change that physical state because that's gonna be something that actually helps you to shift your psychology because the psychology and the physiology are so closely linked. Now the second part of the movement is, it relates to something that Tony Robbins talks about where he says, we don't feel emotion, we do emotion. And I'm sure you could recognize when you feel a little bit down the dumps, it's really easy to round our shoulders and our chin drops to our chest and the dog tries to sit on you. <laughs> and this is how simple it is. When I'm, you can see that I'm scrunched over right now, but if I sit up nice and tall and pull my shoulders back and put my heart up to the sky and lift my chin up slightly, everything opens up, there is an expansiveness. So I want you to be much more mindful of your posture throughout the day. Just get that body moving because you will find that that just maybe one to two minutes, every 50 minutes throughout your work day will have a significant like exponential impact on your energy as you do that. Just as much as I did coming out here and just laying outside for 20 minutes, 25 minutes earlier when I felt my energy starting to slip down. Now I'm kind of completely revitalized. And the third thing is kind of movement, but not movement. I call this going fishy. Now when I work with clients and they talk to me about when they start to feel any emotion that doesn't feel positive for them. So it could be anxiousness, fear, overwhelm. So when we talk about, well, what are you thinking? When you're in that space, what's going on up here that's creating this emotional and physiolog physiological shift in you where you don't feel good? And 9.99 times out of 10, what they've done is they have, they have um, projected themselves out into the future where they are catastrophizing an outcome. The other thing that happens obviously is they can jump bank into the past and they say, well, I did this before and it went wrong. Or when I did this, somebody judged me. Or when I did this, blah, 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 blah. And they're recounting things that happened in the past. But here's what you need to know. As a human being, an energetic human being, you are a creator through your energy. And the only space in which you can create is now. 
the, the moment that you're in now is how you're creating your frequency. So even if you're thinking 20 years in front, two months in front, two days in front, you're creating a frequency, nine times out of 10, of worry, of overwhelm, of lack of clarity. That's the frequency you're feeling now, and that's what's gonna be created. So I talk about, I, t I tell them to go fishing, I get them to, to, to find out where are you, are you out in the future? Is you, have, you pro have you projected your emotional body out into the future, or have you gone back into the past? And you get your fishing rod, and you throw it back, and you put it back out to where you find yourself, and you reel yourself back in. And, and I like to get them to do this visually as well. So imagine them seeing, bringing their sort of energy body, their spirit body back into now. Coming back into this space. Taking a deep breath. Reconnecting. All I have is now. All I have is now. There's only one reason that you go forward and back. You go back to learn. You look back and you go, mm, I did that then, this didn't work, this did work, and that's what I'm gonna to use to move me forward, right? If you're going out into the future, the only time we go into the future is to touch the vision, is to allow ourselves to create the frequency and the vibration of my dream outcome is where I feel X, Y, and Z, and we think about that and we generate those emotions now. So it's for the purpose of creating the frequency now. So they are my top three super simple, high performance mastery energy techniques that are gonna help you to completely revamp how you go about creating your successful days, how you go about building your successful business and your successful life. It will feel very counterintuitive in the beginning because we are bombarded with information about working long hours. We're, we're given credit for working hard. Of course there are gonna be some times when you're gonna to have to work longer hours or um, be more intense than you normally would, but this is when you really activate these three things even in even greater proportions because that will keep you alive and vibrant and joyful while you go ahead and do that. So remember those three simple steps. Step, step number one, you schedule your stuff first. Step number two, move the body. And step number three is go fishing. Hope you've enjoyed that and I'll see you again for the next episode next week. Bye for now.